believe it or not, Daisy Ridley has destroyed, destroyed, I tell you. She has destroyed the woke narrative that there are misogynists attacking Star Wars left and right at an unstoppable pace. She has destroyed that narrative. In an interview that she had just the other day, I believe it was on uh, Good Morning America or whatever, one of those shows, whatever one's on NBC, who knows, what the Today Show, whatever it is. She was discussing, well, she was asked the question about uh, Charmaine obeyed Chinoy in her comments, and she actually said something that was relatively smart and intelligent. Look, I am not a fan of Daisy Ridley. I have never hidden that fact in my entire time of being a podcaster, or YouTuber, or what have you. But I will say this. I will say that she handled this pretty well. I, I will say that I think that this was more her along the lines of being safe, trying to save face for herself with the fans. But that isn't necessarily a bad thing because she destroyed the narrative that Disney wants to have. Disney wants the narrative that there are misogynists out there, that there, that, that there are men out there attacking women. And that is why Char Charmina Bay Chinoy was being attacked for being a director of a Star Wars movie is because she's a woman. That's what Disney wants. That's what the woke left and these leftist radicals want. They want to have that story. They want to latch on to that. But the star of this movie, the star of that movie, has now completely destroyed that narrative. Now, let's take a look at what she has to say. Your little sister, whole entourage, what they're all smiling. That's, that's it? That's all you can tell us? You're going to make it's, it blush. It's great. I'm yeah. getting warm. Yeah. Um, it's a very well Now, she was talking story, about and I think the upcoming movie here. Job. That's so but funny. Here's, here's I, mean, the I, I just have to ask because there are some of the, I'd say, extreme Star Wars fans who have made this a conversation on the internet about how they don't want a female director, mm. which seems bizarre because episodes of The Mandalorian mm. were directed by female. And see, she tries to lead Daisy in this here. And then she kind of ruins it herself because she's like, and that's ridiculous because episodes of The Mandalorian and this and that. She even, as the reporter, makes herself and destroys the narrative. I mean, Kathleen Kennedy mm -hmm. has been overseeing all of this. So, you know, what is your take on that? I think my take is things get blown out of proportion mm -hmm. and the interactions I've ever had with people have been nothing but wonderful and supportive. And honestly, the day we announced the that I was coming back at Celebration last year, you cannot imagine the joy mm -hmm. and goodwill in that room. So um, I've only ever been embraced, yeah. and I think we're going to make a great film on people. Mm -hmm. We cannot yeah. wait. Tell us more about the film itself. So there it is. I mean, she, it's a short answer. Very short, very sweet answer. Again, I'm not a fan of Daisy Ridley. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the Ray character. I think they completely mishandled writing that character, writing her story. Uh, but the problem was never with, was never with her being a woman. The problem's never been with women directing or writing or having a part in Star Wars. That was never the problem. It's the comments that Charmaine Obey Chinoy made. It's the way that she handled that whole situation. It's the fact that she's unfit to direct a Star Wars movie, and then she makes a comment like she did. That has been the problem. That has been the issue the entire time. You add on top of that the very obvious, the very, very obvious initiative that Disney Star Wars has had in pushing this very feminist movement and everything has to be feminized. They're removing men very, very much so from Star Wars. And you start to take a look at this and yes, men are going to get upset, but they're not complaining about the fact that there's women in Star Wars that, oh, we don't want the women. No, it's that they want well-written women, but they also want well-written men. They want good content. Look, if, the, if they were pushing female content that was written well, then there would be no issue. But it's been bullcrap. It's been terrible content that they've been pushing. Look, again, I'm not a fan of Daisy Ridley. I don't want to see this movie. Well, I, I won't say I don't want to see it. I don't think this is the right move for Star Wars right now. I think this is a bad move for Star Wars because she's 
came out of such a divisive uh, uh, trilogy of films. And you don't fix a divided fandom with more divisive characters and divisive story. That doesn't make any sense. So to me, that's a, this is a terrible move. But, but if they get the story right, maybe they can latch on and grab me. But it's not a good look when the director is already continuing to push that divisiveness. That she's already latching on to what the biggest issue is with the divide. And that's the issue. That's the issue. So she completely destroys the woke narrative that there's this misogynistic view on Star Wars. That's not what it is. We've been talking about it for weeks now. Maybe having the star of the movie will open their eyes, but it's not going to. I'm sure they'll find a way to twist this and say, oh, she she, mis- she misspoke or something. I'm sure something like that will come up. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this. Because, I, again, I don't think there's a, this was a terrible thing for her to say. And I have to, I have to admit, uh, I was watching Geeks and Gamers today, and I even sent in a chat saying I think that she was just trying to save face. But after they, they talked about it, I, I agree. I, I agree with what they were saying. Is It was actually really well what she said. But you have to take a bigger look at it because it really does destroy what their narrative would have been moving forward. And now the question is, will Disney, will the director, will Kathy Kennedy, and will the, the leftist radicals who support that side of the, the fandom, are they going to get behind Daisy or not? Let me know your thoughts. I'll catch you all later.